Cancer Singles, welcome to meet the soulmate Reed here at the Urban uh, Studios in Cancun. <laughs> urban Jungle, you might not see too much behind. There's a bat flying around, big brown bat. I hope so, they're cool. Um, all about transformation, these bats, you know, deep spirituality, which eh, I'll take it. Uh, ethereal Visions, Illuminate Tarot decks, what we're using right now. Um, this uh, Tuesday, and always Tuesday, is uh, going to be um, Cancer and Gemini Day. Um, and this one is just uh, always a positive read because we're simply asking Spirit to show us the one that's right for you. So if you see a Three of Swords or something scary, uh, it's not a big deal. It's not anybody going to break up with you. We're just going to try to describe their personality and behavior here i get the astrology a lot of their astrology be ready for that um this is for cancer sun moon rising venus i might say um this uh, particular reading it's up to you to figure out what resonates for you it's usually my son when i was first listening to tarot i listened to everything um primarily my son but i have four plants sagittarius so um makes me a super sad so it's kind of obvious and i use the what i call the four pillars i look at the four aspects of a relationship emotional, intellectual, sexual love, and lifestyle core values here. Um, and try to get a beat on them that way with eight cards, two cards for each area. Here we have the Knight of Wands. This is in their emotional position. Wow. And we have the Knight of Cups. Look a little bit of a conscious and unconscious energy. Um, let me look also at their intellectual position, justice. Here we go. The Justice card. Here I see uh, the sun in the intellectual position. Um, sometimes we'll also see the Mercury here. Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is looking at the Knight of Cups here. And this is in their emotional energy. So this person has a sibling. I'm not reading sex, so male or female. Um, I think it's a same-sex sibling um, that they probably have a very close relationship with. So that's one story that's going to be told. They are going to have an Aries uh, moon, and they're going to have a Libra sun here. It's a justice card. And I believe in their natal chart, is it too much of a stretch, that their sun or moon is going to be in opposition. Um, so there are some issues with the mom. I think that, that this person and their sibling, brother or sister, uh, bonded um, strongly in childhood. Um, and I think they kind of learned to rely on each other uh, because I think in some way the mom wasn't there. This wasn't a horrible childhood, not terribly damaged. And I always say this is your person. I don't say that they're perfect, you know. Um, but it's a dynamic. They might talk about it. And their mom may, may have been an Aries type character, honestly, a kind of selfish, self-absorbed, um, preoccupied, uh, just uh, just not an attentive mother. I'd say it like that. There's some element of them kind of nurturing themselves here. Um, not that I didn't do, and I was by myself, but I would see two brothers or two sisters here. Um, kind of, uh, and it's it's a very they have a very good close bonded relationship where they both are just trying to help each other out. It could be your person here being Libra, you know, wanting to work with other people. So I think you're going to see the Libra of them taking control. It's interesting they have two knights here. It's kind of the unconscious conscious position. Uh, with knights, they always imply action. It's always Mars energy. So they're not someone who's afraid to take action. It's interesting with this opposition, you know, the self and the other, Aries, the self, Libra, the other. And you'd think they'd be uh, at uh, some kind of a loggerheads. Even you have here emphasizing it, the Knight of Pentacles is looking at the Knight of Cups. And so I think what you're gonna have here is a Virgo Mercury with this person. Yeah. I think it's going to be pretty strong. 
Uh, the Virgo Mercury is pretty strong anyway. But you know, Libra's kind of uh, in detriment actually. The sun is in the sun. Sun is in detriment there. Um, and the moon might as well be in detriment in Aries. Um, it's it's a, a tough placement for moon energy. And so, you know, this would be someone. I imagine too they're going to have a lot of self-talk internally it's not bad I'm just saying if you want to get in their head a little bit there's going to be a lot of talking to themselves in their head and they talk about their feelings in their head that's how they get in touch with their feelings uh, by kind of uh, having a conversation so they kind of like uh, you know um, their mercury sort of guides their um, feelings you might find that this mercury is somehow like a trine or a sextile to the moon here um at some position of uh, somehow it's working for them you know it's kind of thing like sometimes in astrology you find like that's where you might have a good solid in conjunction or conjunct you know that 150 degrees is a really difficult energy but then it forces them to pay attention to this area of life and uh, you know say kind of get a handle on that inner ta uh, talk and basically it's kind of like becoming like patient internally you know um, the moon is what we need to feel comfortable so what they need to feel comfortable is to take action this often all plays out in relationships and now you have a Libra son there that wants to be like whoa whoa what, what are we doing hold on how are the people feel about that and, you know, an Aries moon be like, how do other people fare? The last thing on my mind, I can give a shit how other people feel about it. And the sun is like, well, I seriously care about how other people feel. Hold on. So you see this kind of internal thing that they would have had to kind of, um, in their own way, in some way, you know, get a handle on that. So, Knight of Swords, it's interesting, that's similar to the uh, Knight of Wands. The sexual often goes with the emotional. So this is in their sexual and love nature. Here, normally I want to read the Venus. And my God, an ace of wands in the sexual position. And here I'll read the Mars. Wow. That's got to be a Leo Mars, this ace of wands. Your person here, your Libra. You've got the Leo Mars. Venus. I think this is a Libra Venus. Yeah. I remember they've got that Mercury uh, energy, which swords are Mercury, thoughts, communication. Um, in terms of love and relationship, um, they might uh, really need to communicate and desire to communicate. So communication, no joke, is going to be a very strong element of the way they love you. It might even be an element of sexuality, like they like really like sexy talk. Um, with this Ace of Wands and being in the Mars, I and you got two knights here. But am I talking about you got four knights? You got every knight here in the deck. Okay, so we're talking about kind of a younger person, and I got to think now with the Ace of Wands. I got to tell you, I'm not trying to be lascivious here. Uh, this is somebody's like crazy hot male or female they're like, tss, like nuts you know to the point where it could just be kind of a problem you know they're so hot it's like the people might just might bother the fuck out of them type of so hot you know um, and honestly with this ace of wands here being in this Mars and being in this Leo Mars um, it's going to be an area of their life where they're, they're just like um really sexual and I think like this is you're really not going to see this coming because this is a really charming person debonair I think they're probably going to dress well they're probably like just look good in anything I mean if it's a woman like could be a model the guy could be a model I guess too they could be a model this person could be an athlete um I mean I would tell you like this like you know get on your knees in, in terms of sex and say thank you God because this is your soulmate I mean, and they're coming in, and they're just going to rock it, man. I'm telling you. 
you're going to be a happy camper. Now we're looking at their core values and lifestyle energy. Huh, Ten of uh, Swords and the King of Swords. Ten of Swords over the King of Swords. Well, they're kind of my way or the highway. I think, you know, they had a pretty good childhood. Um, um, you know, they, they managed to get along. Um, and I think this is probably like a really social person and um, they probably had like a grandmother or something there helping them too uh, in the picture um, and I think that there's someone that's like an entrepreneur it's a little bit like my way or the highway like they don't like authority you see all this Mars energy they want to take charge take control I mean this has kind of got to be an entrepreneur and I think it's someone that uh, they're not afraid to fail, you know. Um, they're not afraid to fail publicly with all these swords, um, um, with all this Mars energy. They just want to go for it. You'll find that same kind of enthusiasm and fearlessness in the sack, too. You've got this Ace of Wands over this uh, Knight of Swords is coming right at you, Knight of Swords, with the sword right there. It's coming right at you, man. I'm uh, not playing around. And, you know, this moon, too. Now they end up in the bottom here with the king of swords. It's the outcome. So there's someone that has their own business. They do what they want to. They may say the phrase, I do what I want to. You know, there's your Aries moon coming out. Makes me, what is, makes an Aries moon feel good? Doing what the fuck they want to do. That's what will make an Aries moon feel good. It's like, I get to do exactly what the fuck I want to do. And now I'm happy camper. So let me know, guys, if this resonates with you. I see this as a predictive read, so it may not be someone that's in your life just now. It is this end of uh, November time frame, so anytime coming up. Let me know if you run into them. Would you get back to me and let me know? Um, so I appreciate it, and do give me a like, a share, tell a friend, tell a friend, thumbs up, do subscribe. We appreciate it, guys.